Hey guys, I'm John. Today we're here at the Mishimoto Garage to install the Mishimoto Direct Fit Fan Shroud with the optional fan controller for the BMW E36. While you're at it, this is a great time to install a Mishimoto Performance Aluminum Radiator or a Mishimoto Silicone Coolant Hose Kit. We highly recommend picking up some Mishimoto Liquid Chill Full Synthetic Coolant because we're going to be draining the coolant. Also, don't forget to click subscribe to our YouTube channel for more exclusive content. Let's get started on the install. Tools needed for install include two and a half millimeter Allen key, 10 millimeter socket, quarter drive ratchet, 10 and 19 millimeter ratchet wrenches, 32 millimeter wrench, channel lock pliers, dikes, small and large flathead screwdrivers, a funnel, and Mishimoto's liquid chill synthetic coolant. Install time is two hours, and install difficulty is a four out of five. Make sure your BMW is cooled down and raise your car up properly, supporting it on jack stands or with a lift. Remove the stock air dam. There are two Phillips head screws and two Phillips head pop clips holding it in place. Open the overflow tank cap to release the pressure in the cooling system. Using a flathead screwdriver, loosen the drain plug on your stock radiator and drain the coolant. Next, remove the two pop clips on the fan shroud. Now, separate the fan shroud from the radiator by pulling up and then pushing it back. Next, remove the one warm gear clamp for the overflow hose. Using a 32 millimeter wrench and a flathead screwdriver, loosen the stock mechanical clutch fan and leave it inside the shroud. Next, remove the bleeder screw using a flathead screwdriver. Using a flathead screwdriver, remove the clip for the stock plastic expansion tank. For this install, we already have the Mishimoto X-Line E36 Performance Radiator installed, so we ran the overflow line through the shroud. Your overflow line might be routed slightly different. Unseat the stock expansion tank and feed the overflow hose out of the way. Using a flathead screwdriver, loosen and remove the worm gear clamp on the return hose that is attached to the bottom of the expansion tank. Be sure to have a drain bucket underneath, as some coolant will leak out. Next, set aside the stock expansion tank. Now, you are ready to remove the stock mechanical fan and the shroud. Pull up the fan shroud just enough to remove the clutch fan. Remove the coolant return line that is fed through the shroud before fully removing the shroud. Install the Mishimoto provided rubber bushings onto the Mishimoto fan shroud using the four two and a half millimeter Allen bolts and bushings. Install the stock expansion tank onto the Mishimoto fan shroud before lowering the assembly into your engine bay. Using a flathead screwdriver, reconnect the return coolant line to the bottom of the expansion tank with the one worm gear clamp you removed earlier. Install the Mishimoto provided bracket that holds the stock expansion tank in place. Use the two provided 10 millimeter bolts. Next, lower the entire assembly into place. Fasten the fan shroud to the radiator using two 10 mm bolts. Reinstall the overflow coolant hose. Make sure the one warm gear clamp is already on the hose before you attach it to the radiator. Using the supplied zip tie, secure the coolant overflow hose to the fan shroud. Also, secure the return coolant line with two zip ties. Finally, reinstall the air dam using the two Phillips head screws and two pop clips that you removed earlier. For this install, we chose the optional Mishimoto fan controller kit and mounted it conveniently to the fan shroud. If you're ready to tackle this wiring project, click the link for our DIY video. Now we're ready to top and bleed the cooling system, and for this, we recommend Mishimoto's Liquid Chill Full Synthetic Coolant. Don't forget to click subscribe.